And uh, so we're going to start off with the, with the front way we pay. We're going to start off with the frontline changes report. And uh, there is further frontline changes report as compared to, uh, as on top of what I have already published yesterday on the frontline changes report. And we, and uh, this time around, it's all very major. And we start off with Ivaniski. So over at Ivaniski, the Russian forces have made tremendous progress uh, over at this uh, south uh, western part of Bakhmut city. The Russian forces, uh, according to the Russian sources, have basically entered into Ivanivsky and started the battle of Ivanivsky. They have entered the eastern part of the Ivanivsky and they have closed up the entire northeast according to the Russian mapping. So, uh, I believe not Russian mapping, Ukrainian mapping. So the Ukrainians are the ones that reported this. The Russians have are not even this bullish. Uh, the Russians only reported uh, about the advance in the north, uh, northeastern part of uh, Ivanisky. They did, and they said about some fighting in in the uh, the first few buildings, but it wasn't this extensive uh, in terms of the mapping wise. So the Russians are making a tremendous progress over Ivanisky, and uh, the battle is now into Ivanisky itself. And uh, so the other front line change is over at the. ADFK front. So at the ADFK front, uh, some tremendous uh, changes over this area here, as you can see. This is ADFK city. The Russian forces have pushed out of the coke plant towards Olivka, and uh, another push have uh, basically uh, taken basically everything of eastern Germany. So uh, or Germany. So uh, this this one is particularly interesting because uh, the Russian forces basically have entered from the east of Germany. Or Germany, and they have conquered or uh, basically taken everything, uh, everything to, to the east of it. And I believe even this tree line is gone. Although uh, based on Ukrainian mapping, this is still a gray zone, but I believe it's I believe it's gone already. And uh, this is the uh, the battle of Germany, and I don't think it's going to last very long. There is already rumors about Ukrainian forces redrawing from it. Um, so. The next chain, uh, so this the one over uh, fighting over the Olivka. There is already geolocation location of Russian forces attacking, uh, this very location. So even though the confirmed front line is here, the Russian forces are already making push, uh, towards Olivka already, and they are not that far away. This is basically one tree line away. So let's see how this progress. And uh, the other front line change is over at uh, Robotini. So, so uh, in the in the Zaporizhia front, this is Zaporizhia, this is the Zaporizhia front at the Orikiv sector. Uh, there is major frontline changes over here. It's very shocking. Uh, based on the Russian mappings, the Russian forces have made tremendous progress in the north, uh, northwestern part of Verbove and the western part of Verbove. They have taken all the way up to the entrenchment around here, taken literally almost all of south uh, eastern part of Robotine. They have taken the entire southern part of Robotine as well. And uh, so this is based on Russian mapping. In terms of the Ukrainians, they only acknowledge this. This is the only one they acknowledge. So if I zoom in a bit, you'll probably see better. So the Russian forces have taken everything around here. They have uh, progressed all the way up to the main road along the entrenchment. Uh, and then uh, they have taken everything in the uh, south, uh, southeast of uh, Robotine and almost the lower half of uh, Robot eastern part of Robotine. They've taken the southern part of uh, Robotine as well. <clears throat> and uh, so the Ukrainians only acknowledge this push. Only this part was acknowledged. Everything else is not acknowledged by the Ukrainian side. So this is the front line change over at the Orakiv sector. And if the Russians' uh, uh, mapping is true, we are looking at a, a, actually a very fast collapse of the Ukrainian lines over at the Robotine Verbove region, and we will probably see uh, a lot more uh, frontline change over the next few days because, uh, given this kind of advance, the the fo the forces here is basically routed. So they they this a routed force tends to have trouble uh, reorganizing uh, unless they have reinforcement coming up to help out with uh, building up of the next line of defense. So we'll continue to monitor this. <clears throat> and the last frontline change is over at, uh, I think, is this the same one? Or is the same one? So this, this is the frontline changes report. This is everything. So that's all for the frontline changes report. We go into um, the strategic uh, stuff.